If you want to become a VIP kid teacher, or maybe you already are one and you're trying to help somebody else get hired, then you've come to the right place. Hello, my name is Teacher Tina, and I've been with VIP Kids since July of 2017. Since then, I've made it my full-time job and mission to help aspiring and current VIP Kid teachers to be confident and much more than just competent in the classroom. So, Basically, how I created this video, how I decided to make this video was because I've been seeing so much confusion happening all over the place with the hiring process right now. And let's be real, there's just a lot of confusion and chaos happening around us in the world right now. About a week ago, I posted a video about my predictions of what the coronavirus would mean for the VIP kid community, especially for people in the hiring process. And we're already starting to see that kind of come to a head. So I definitely wanted to address that and a bunch of other concerns that I've been getting. So I do have notes pulled up so that I hopefully don't miss anything big, um, but I'm sure that you will have some questions that I don't get answered on here. So at the end of this video, I'm going to share a couple of resources with you that I think would be really, really helpful for any follow-up questions that you have. So let's get started. We are going to talk Talk about a lot of things, but among them we'll talk about pay, we'll talk about delays and expectations, the mock class, the demo, um, the TESOL course, all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. First of all, delays. Yes, things are a little bit backed up with the hiring process right now. Typically, pre- coronavirus, um, it would take the average person one and a half weeks or so from the time that they submit their application to the time that they sign their contract and can start teaching. Right now, I'm seeing that take much longer. Um, as if you've ever watched my videos before, you know that I don't sugarcoat stuff. I let you know exactly what I'm seeing so that you can be informed. Um, the most recent like that I've seen is that people, after they submit their profile picture, all that stuff at the end of the hiring process, people are waiting about two weeks at that point. So it very well could, if you apply now, it could take you maybe three, four plus weeks to actually start to be able to even open your schedule. So I just wanted to let you know that that is a serious delay. The main places I'm seeing the delays right now are um, in the process for the mock classes. Sometimes people are having a hard time actually getting on the schedule for a mock class. That's okay, check back later, see if anything new opens up. Um, check back the next day, see if anything new opens up. There are also mock, clo mock, mock coaching sessions that VIP Kid offers, and those have been filling up even faster than the mock classes. Those, the coaching sessions, are totally optional. So if you can't go to it, don't sweat it. I suggest that you schedule a mock class as soon as you're able, um, and then just take the feedback that you receive in that mock class, you know, work on it, and then do another mock class. It's really not the end of the world if you can't get into a mock coaching session. So that's where I'm seeing delays. And then also, like I said, at the end of the hiring process, af after people submit their profile pictures, their video, their written description, all that good stuff, um, proof of their, their degree, that's where we're seeing probably the biggest lag. That, that was that two weeks that somebody recently saw that I talked to. Um, so, you know, maybe it won't be that long for you. Maybe it will be longer. I don't really know. Nobody really knows right now. Um, when you think about it, the team that is reviewing these things in China, a lot of them are just kind of getting back up to speed um, because most of them have been working from home. And all of a sudden they're getting bombarded with a ton of new applicants. So I'm not saying that there's not you know, VIP Kid doesn't have a hiring freeze on or anything like that. It's just a little clogged up at the end of the process. So just wanted to let you know. Let's talk about expectations then. Um, if you are coming into VIP Kid and expecting to start teaching right away, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen for you. Um, because like I said, there's a little bit of a lag to even get through the hiring process. And then I'm anticipating that you may wait for your first classes as well. I don't know that for sure, but this is not quick money, so if you're looking for a job that's going to give you a paycheck right as soon as you start, this is not the right job for you. Just keeping it real. If you can be patient, um, then, you know, keep listening and learn some more. Okay, so, um, 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 let's see, the requirements. So this is something that... I really encourage you to make clear to your referrals out the gate or that you make sure that you know if you're going through the hiring process. Um, there are strict requirements that you really have to meet in order to even like start the process. So you have to have um, at least a bachelor's degree. It can be in anything. You have to have um, two years of experience with kids. It can be nannying, it can be babysitting, coaching, teaching, 
all that kind of stuff, get creative. Um, and then the third one that has been hanging people up a lot lately is that you must have legal eligibility to work in the US or Canada, but you cannot live in California. Like that can't be your only legal eligibility. Um, if you're wondering why, look into Assembly Bill 5 that passed in California and took effect on January 1st of 2020. That is why VIP Kid is no longer partnering with new teachers from California. Um, so if you have any questions about that, definitely contact VIP Kid. I have their email in email address in my video description below. Um, but yeah, if your only legal eligibility is in California, you're not going to be able to teach with VIP Kid as of April, really as of like the end of December, start of January. So anyway, um, so make sure that you or whoever you're helping has all three of those pieces uh, before that person invests any time in the hiring process. Okay, um, demo options. I wanted to touch on those. So in the past, you had the option, people had the option to do a live interview. Currently, that is not an option, and I think it's just not feasible for the number of people they're trying to get through the hiring process. So they're just not currently offering that at all. Um, of course, it could pop up tomorrow, for all I know, but the past few days, that's not been an option for people. So if you were going through the hiring process and you got invited to do a live interview and then the option disappeared, that's why. <laughs> So I know somebody just posted on my YouTube channel earlier today and was confused. She's like, I got invited to do a live interview and then it disappeared. And yeah, I think VIP could realize that they were in over their heads and so they took away that option. So your options currently are the recorded demo, which is about five minutes long and you do it on your computer, about three slides to that. Or you can do the smart demo, which is done on your smartphone. You, you do a quick quiz and then you teach one slide for two and a half minutes. If I were you, I would just do the smart demo way faster, way easier. Um, you will only see the smart demo as an option once you download the app on your phone. Otherwise, it will look like you only have the option to do the recorded computer one if you're looking on a computer, right? So I wish they made that clearer, but if you get on your smartphone, get the VIP Kid Teacher app and log into your account, you should be able to do the smart demo. It should recognize who you are as long as you're using the same login credentials. Okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, and if you run into issues with the smart demo, you can do the recorded one, right? It's okay. Um, sometimes VIP Kid system goes through updates, especially the app. Um, so sometimes you may get an error message or something. If that happens, you can consider doing the other option, check back later. If ever in doubt, send an email to VIP Kid and you can ask them what they would like for you to do. Okay, um, about your background, uh, even though I know it's really hard for people to get out and purchase things for a classroom right now, I do definitely recommend that you have something for your background. Actually, I would really recommend that you have a couple of things for your background, something colorful, right? Like what I have right here, this is a great option, something like this that adds, it makes it look like a classroom. I would also say that if you are going through the hiring process and once you're teaching students too, it's really helpful to have a name sign in your classroom. Now, I just moved and I don't have my name sign up yet, um, but I would definitely recommend, even if you just hand write something, print it off on the computer, it's really helpful to have that up there. I would maybe add one other fun element, maybe like, you know, think about what you already have in your house something you can put up there to add some interest, uh, but you definitely want to have something in your classroom and you want to be sure that you have excellent lighting as well, even if that means bringing in a bunch of random lamps from around your house, okay? These are still important things, even though I know that it's harder to get your hands on them. So just wanted to let you know about that. Um, I am a friend of many mock class mentors and I've been talking to them a lot about changing expectations for people in the hiring process. Right now, from, from my understanding, the mock class mentors have not been given concrete direction as to um, if they should be changing how they assess, you know, like headsets and things. I know it's very difficult to get your hands on some headsets right now. They're very expensive. They're hard to even find right now because so many people are telecommuting for work. Um, so the, the mock class mentors I've talked to have mostly been of the opinion that as long as you have something and it's not causing an issue like they can't hear you. They've mostly been okay with that. They're pretty flexible. Um, at the end of the day, not having a proper headset is not going to be the difference maker of whether you pass a mock class or not. 
it's just not. It's not worth that much on the rubric. <laughs> so um, if you are asked to do another mock class and they mention something about you not having a headset, just know that that's not the only reason you didn't pass. Um, but a lot of times the reason for the headset is not so much that you look prepared to teach, but that they can actually hear you properly and that you can hear the other person properly. So it's more an issue of you not really being able to conduct a class properly. Um, as for props, get creative with your props. Get creative. Use what you already have at home. Um, mock class mentors, from my understanding, are being more lenient about having more props that you just print off of the computer or that you draw by hand. Um, usually they want to see more of a variety of like physical, like 3D props and the printed props. They're they're tending to be a lot more flexible with that right now. So use what you have, be creative. For example, you know, for a ball, you can use an orange. That's fine. Um, so anyway, use your, use your judgment. As with anything, use your judgment. A lot of times in VIP Kid, if something's not what they want, they'll just ask you to try again. So it's not really a big deal. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about pay rate. Whew, this, is, this is the most heated thing that I hear people get up in arms about. Um, so with the enormous influx of teachers, and let me remind you, this is information coming from me. I am not directly speaking on behalf of VIP Kid. With the influx of teachers that VIP Kid has been seeing, it is my um, thought <laughs> that they are offering a, a lower base pay than they normally would just across the board um, because they're going to get teachers regardless is what it seems like to me. Um, and so like in the past, you know, people may have gotten like $7.50 to $8.50 as their base pay, but lately I've really just been seeing people get a $7.50 base pay. Now, before you run away, the base pay really is just like the basement. I mean, anything you do above that is just more, right? So $7.50 per class base pay is $15 an hour, but there's like a whole chart that you would follow. Um, so depending on how many classes you've taught total in VIP Kid and how many classes you've taught in the month, you are going to ramp up that pay. So um, you will get a copy of that whole chart when you are you know, getting your contract that you can preview before you're even done with the hiring process. Um, I'm sure you can find it online too. I have it in my hiring guide for referrals so they can see it whenever they want. Um, but just know that that really, that base pay is the basement. I mean, it just goes up from there and short notice is still a thing. So if people teach, um, let's say you open up your schedule once you're teaching, you open up your schedule to be available last minute, like within 24 hours for a class, um, and it gets booked and you teach it, you get an extra $2. So already that bumps up, like let's say, let's say you got $15. $15 an hour, right? Um, which really it would be more than that with the incentives. But with the short notice, like two short notes, that's already 19 an hour if you're just teaching short notice classes. So I know people kind of go, what? 750 base pay? But it really is just the basement. Um, so with that being said, in the past, the uh, base pay used to depend a lot on your performance throughout the hiring process, especially in the interview. That used to be a big spot where people got evaluated and their base pay was determined. It has been my impression, and this is not information that is available to any teachers in VIP Kid, but it's my impression that your performance doesn't affect your base pay at all at this point during this coronavirus outbreak when there are so many teachers coming in, right? Um, I've seen people with doctorates and 30 years of teaching experience also get 750. <laughs> so just know that it's not just you. It's pretty much everybody if you get offered 750. Um, so it's kind of freeing actually that that's what they're doing right now because that means that you can really just focus on being the best teacher you can be and not get money tied up into it during the hiring process. So really the demo stage, I like to think of as more of like a screening tool for VIP Kid, right? They're making sure that you seem like a good fit, that you put in some effort. Um, and then the mock classes are where you really get to practice as though you have a real student. Um, and since the money's not tied into it, you can really just focus on doing a good job. So. Um, with that, uh, in the past, it used to really seem to make a bit of a difference in your pay, whether you had the TESOL, 
teaching English to speakers of other languages, whether you had that certification seem to bump up your base pay. Right now, that doesn't seem to be a thing. So people have been asking me, should I still get the TESOL? I definitely would. But if I were you, I probably would just wait until I'm going to have to wait anyway in the hiring process to do that. Um, so I have a link in my video description to a $19 online TESOL course. Um, if you already have a TESOL certification or you have a state issued or province issued um, teaching license, then you don't technically have to get a TESOL. And VIP Kid offers their own TESOL VIP Kid certification, just takes a handful of hours online. Um, but any additional certification that you get will just put you a step ahead of the pack, right? So once you actually, um, everything clears in your profile, I think it would make you stand out to teachers more to have that TESOL certification, the freestanding uh, one that I mentioned that you can get a link to in my description. So like I said, it's not uh, mandatory that you get a separate TESOL certification, but if it makes you stand out more to parents and get a faster start with bookings, why wouldn't you try that? Um, so I think that's about it. Um, I do have some other new videos on my channel, so feel free to check those out, including my profile one to help you have a rock star profile and try to attract your ultimate, your ideal students. Um, but as you can see, there are a lot of changes happening in VIP Kid. So I encourage you, if you are in the hiring process, reach out to someone you know who is a VIP Kid teacher, or if you don't know anybody, you can feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I help people as my full-time job, and I would be happy to provide you with lots of resources and whatnot. Um, I have, oh, I wanted to mention uh, resources as well for you. So in addition to the resources I offer, um, there is a Facebook group that I lead called um, the Hiring Support Community. So anybody who's in the hiring process for VIP Kid is welcome to join it. It's in my video description. If you are a hired teacher and you are helping somebody else to go through the hiring process. I have a separate group I'm going to link. It's not my group, but I do help out in that group a lot. Um, it's just for people who are referring other teachers so that we can help you help other people. Um, so definitely check out those two groups, whichever one's relevant to you, and I wish you all the best. If you learned anything from this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below, and feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any helpful VIP Kid videos. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hopefully being a part of the process with you. I also have my email address below, so feel free to reach out. Thank you, take care, and happy teaching.